Hey, it's gonna be one. Welcome back. So, have you ever faced this problem? Say, Safari cannot open the page because too many redirect occurs. So, if you ever encountered this on your iPhone Safari browser, here is how you can troubleshoot it. Now, mostly this problem arises when you got problems with the internet. So, first thing that you have to do is just go ahead and open up your YouTube apps, or maybe you can try opening a few different apps to see if that loads properly or not. If you see, well, your YouTube is keep loading and loading and loading, then how you got to do is simply go back and enable airplane mode for about 10 to 20 seconds, turn it off, or just try switching on network. Let's say currently you're connected with that Wi Fi, turn it off. You can go back and turn in the mobile data, or you can do the vice versa to see if that works or not. Now, quickly after that, if you see still the same thing is happening, then all I recommend you guys for a specific website or a social media app like X, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, I'd recommend you try using their default applications. However, let's say you're let's certain website is still giving you the same problems then head over to settings on iphone scroll down to bottom select apps and type safari here and select that and now scroll down and first make sure you are uh, just scrolling to the bottom and enabling this called clear history and website data so make sure you are selecting all and tap clear history and after that you want to scroll down to the bottom tap advanced and also clear out the website data as well from here if it's available now quickly after that all you guys want to do you also want to enable some important settings like uh, javascript web uh, inspector and that's like these are actually important so let me just go back and turn on there are a few more settings things are okay right now cool 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 yeah everything is now all good so now simply get out of here and restart your iphone and try to open to the website to see if that works or not so after following all of that i can tell you guys your problem is going to be solved but still if you have problems the last thing these guys can do you can head over to settings and open up general and tap software update and if you found if there's new software available go ahead and update it well if you found if there's no software available scroll down to the bottom from the general and then tap transfer and reset iphone tap reset select reset all settings after that your problem is going to be solved still have question please let me know in the comment section guys see you all around